Hey everybody, it's your girl Miss Purdy coming to you with another video. Um, something a little bit different and forgive me if you see my camera moving all around trying to find a good angle. Um, but, okay. Um, this video I'm doing is kind of like a my journey situation or video. Um, Basically, I'll be getting married in July, yay, um, to my fiancé of one year in February and my boyfriend of five years in July. Add that up. But, um, so I was, I had a lot of questions pretty much just keeping it, being real relaxed with y'all. But I had a whole bunch of questions of how to do a wedding on a budget, which is a lot of people's questions because unless you have the coinage to spend a whole bunch on a wedding, you kind of want to be frugal, so to speak. So um, the first thing that you want to pan out, you and your honey, is a budget. And um, pretty much I am the paperwork person out of me and him so I'm more digital so I got this folder but it's just like a old regular I had this folder already um and I keep our documents in it such as the venue Parker wedding um I got the venue the music list and pretty much stuff that that I may need to provide for other people such as um, dress sizes um, I have the music choices because they have changed a lot so I would say if you are not organized but you don't want to pay anybody you don't have to get completely organized they have so many websites and I'm gonna leave that list below of um, what websites they are but um, I am currently using Wedding Wire, and the Wedding Wire, um, I may try and pull it up and show you, but I'm using my phone. Um, the Wedding Wire has an application that you can download to your phone. It gives you the uh, amount of days, hours, minutes, and seconds before your big day. And it also helps you with venues in your area, uh, places and ways to find dresses, and I'm going to get into all of that, how to cut costs on every single bit of that. But, and I also uh, want to take you guys on the journey with me. Uh, so, first thing is, you know, pretty much after the exciting day of the engagement, it's time to get on the ball. Um, fortunately enough, our wedding was planned a year and a half out. So, the venue... Um, so we were able to kind of have our picking of what exactly we wanted. Um, the budget he and I set was 10000 and that's everything, flat rate. Um, and I am, I'm an only child for my mother, so my primary focus was not having her or anybody else having to stay and clean up. No family members. Um, so what I wanted to do was find a venue that decorated and also that would, you know, do the cleanup. As far as food goes, we, you know, utilize your family members. If you have family members, hell, if you know, you know, you can do it as a wedding party type deal where uh, your bridesmaids, y'all all come over. Or if you want to do it as a get to know me, you can do the bridesmaids and the groomsmen um, a day before the wedding and the bachelor and bachelorette parties and all that other stuff start and get everybody together. If you want to make little finger foods or, you know, if you want to cut up fruits and salads, stuff like that, you can do on your own. You don't necessarily have to pay someone to do that. Um, as far as cakes, nowadays it's 2015. There are so many people that make cakes from home. And I wouldn't say just jump on the first one because they're the cheapest because a lot of times you get what you pay for. And you don't want to come to your wedding with one of these. No, ma'am. No, God. We don't, we don't want that. So, you know, in order to get what you want, kind of, you know, do your research. But at the same time, if you're on a budget, know what, know what you can afford. 
Um, I'm not a real big cake person, and he doesn't like a whole bunch of kind of cake. So we decided on the cake, but we decided to do two tiers, um, excuse me, three tiers of cake and the other two tiers of cupcakes um, just because we won't have very many children there but for people like me that don't like cake cake we can pretty much you know have have uh, a variety of choices um, as far as the um, I'm rambling but um, once we came up with a budget we found our location and here in Las Vegas they have places to get married everywhere so it was a tough thing, but we ended up finding the location where everything was included. They have security, um, the cleaning, they have, you know, ice, all that other stuff. Um, we opted to bring our own liquor just because we can do open bar all night if we want. Um, and they could, so they would supply the liquor, but you have to pretty much drink what they have. Not cool. So... That's pretty much how we did the venue. Now, um, we were going to get married outside, and I did want an outside wedding, but being that I'm from Las Vegas, outside weddings in that dress, once I tried it on, baby, wasn't going to happen. So, we did find a venue that we both liked, and it's nice and air-conditioned and all that. So, I'll probably be getting some videos as time progresses, um, but... Wedding Wire is a good website if you ladies are doing your own decorating and or you know like with us we have to buy our own flowers for the bouquet as well as the flower girls. Um, Oriental Exchange. The Oriental Exchange is perfect if you're going to have a, a candy bar, um, a candy buffet excuse me. They have every gumball imaginable color. They have the crystal candies. They have everything size shape and it's like but anywhere between 50 cents up to about eight dollars a bag i would say um if you want your streamers banners there and also aliexpress they don't just sell hair um but you and also um they don't you know pretty much they don't just sell hair you can do the decorations and also your dresses um believe it or not i found my bridesmaids dresses just because I wanted some dresses that the ladies may not wear all the time but if they'd like to put it on they would you know they would want to and our colors are champagne black and um champagne black and ivory ivory white whatever um but well mostly white but I was able to find my bridesmaids dresses on Sammy dress for I believe they were $19.38, and I'm going to put that below as well because they have beautiful selections and dresses, and pretty much they do the same thing AliExpress does. They just, they make everything to order. Everything is made to order, pretty much. So you send them your measurements, or you can just pick from the selected sizes, and then they'll go ahead and alter the dress as needed for you. So I think it's a pretty damn good thing that they have. Um, but I was able to get six dresses for under... Under uh, the lady actually did a deal for me because I ended up getting the flower girl dresses also. I have three flower girls, six bridesmaids, six groomsmen. So um, I ended up getting the dresses and the three flower girl dresses. All that came out to about a hundred dollars flat. Just about yeah, I think it was like a hundred and fifteen and some change. Um, so that worked out perfectly and the, the flower girl dresses are some sequin dresses and I'll get some pictures and show you guys, but there's some sequin dresses and they're cute, they're quaint, and then they can change them. If it's a color, different color ribbon you want, they're made to order. They can change that ribbon. And, um, also after, you know, people don't think about the reception, you, I have the reception outfit. That dress came from Chic and Curvy Boutique. Um, just because I'm a plus size girl, so I like to still be sexy, but still have class and comfort in what I'm, I'm wearing. Um, call me ghetto, but I don't necessarily do heels all the time. And the place that we're having the wet net has marble floors. Me, marble floors and these cankles doesn't work. So, I, me and my fiance agreed to wear uh, Jordans, all white Jordans with, we're going to get a champagne finish on them well i'm getting it on mine some champagne glitter but you won't be able to see mine 
until the reception. And you probably still can at the reception because my dress is pretty long. And I'm only five foot three, so you can imagine. But um, those are just some of the websites. Sammy's Dress, uh, AliExpress, absolutely for the wedding dress. I went to David's Bridal and that's because they had a sale. I would always say look for sales. Um, any kind of, once you link up with David's Bridal, they get you into everything. You will start receiving books. You will start receiving manuals. Even if you don't get your dress from David's Bridal, link up with David's Bridal. Um, I won a Mary Kay spa day for my girls, me and uh, my bridal party. So we did facials and, you know, things like that. And of course it was a sales tactic, but it was still fucking awesome. Um, for my girls, what I will be doing is, um, and when I say my girls, I mean my bridal party. Um, I'll be doing hangover kits and included in the hangover kits that I'm going to present to them the day before the wedding uh, it's going to include some um, Alka-Seltzer, Lip Chap, um, one of the, they have these little energy packs that, uh, silver energy packs, and it's supposed to soak up liquor. So I'm going to give them those and also some um, cucumbers, but I'm going to give little baby cucumbers and let them cut them up themselves. And I also am including a small bottle of champagne with a small bottle of orange juice, and I'm making everybody personalized glasses and I'm going to get them a bracelet and a necklace to go with their dress. So that way, that's my way of controlling everybody to match. Making sure. It's always that one person. And um, we went through hair. And I kept my ladies intrigued, pretty much. I, I I don't just make all these decisions and you guys follow our lead. I don't necessarily do them like that because I'm going to be a bridezilla. And I need all of them to understand that. So I want to be as inviting right now as I possibly can before I get overwhelmed um but that's pretty much for now that's all I have we um we went over the DJ I have a family member DJ and uh go over your menus and I wrote a list out but of course I'm all off topic because I'm all excited um but once I got my folder together you want to go over things such as your wedding time don't know if you can see that and excuse my hand right now so ugly but um the wedding time i have my we have the venue from 6 p.m to 2 a.m so i have my wedding time down from 5 57 and we should all be out of the building by 11 15 and that's just to give the crew a few hours to clean up two to two to three hours to clean up um, this is why I was saying get linked up with David's Bridal because you get things like this, 40% uh, off of your tuxedo rentals, um, ways to save money. Nobody has to buy their tuxedos. Um, if your spouse would like to buy his tuxedo just for a keepsake, cool, you know. But other than that, you can rent the dress, really. Um, Fowlis Perez, a lot of thrift stores and also um, secondhand shops have wedding dresses. And they have nice quality wedding dresses, but it depends on the type of coinage you're trying to spend. Um, me personally, like I said, I went to David's Bridal for my dress. My taste changes so much that I haven't set in stone the dress that I, that I want just yet i have something on hold and luckily i got a friend up there shout out to you um let me hold the dress just until january so i can kind of weigh my options because i've switched my dress six times with david's bridal so i'm very indecisive and nervous you know so i am so happy to be taking y'all on this journey with me and um i got plenty plenty more to, to offer it's just it's all bunched up in my head right now, and um, I'll be coming back on here periodically just to give y'all heads up and updates. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, like, rate, subscribe, hit me down below. I'm pretty quick about responding back. I'm trying to make sure I didn't lie. I did. So, again, get yourself a little nifty $1 book. Get yourself some paper, some manila folders, and um, get some of these applications. And like I said, WeddingWire.com. 
WeddingWire.com is the absolute best, 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 best place um, for you to go if you want to start your journey on getting the wedding planned, finding venues, different things like that. I would deeply suggest venues that you're looking into. Please don't be lazy and just pick something online and go on about your day because you may not be satisfied. Get up, go look, you know, walk around, get a feel of the place. Make sure you like the staff because that is going to be the most hectic day of your life next to your child's birth. And you really don't want to have to focus on, you know, are they, are they stirring the peas right? Or is this the right temperature? Make sure the song goes off and you can do a playlist. You can do a playlist. Now, that was uh, something I did fail to mention. If DJs are expensive, me personally, I have a cousin that DJs. Thank God. But I have a cousin that DJs. But other than that, we were going to just create a playlist. And I am a, I'm a procrastinator, but when something has to be done on time, I'm a time freak. So, uh, I was just going to plan the wedding around that disc so that when everything goes quiet, it's time to go quiet when... You know, so everything was going to be on beat, but I figured that would be, that would be very hectic for a four, a six and an eight year old to know, okay, let me walk out, throw my flowers, walk out them. I didn't want to put all that pressure on those children. So I just decided to go ahead and go with her. Um, I've seen lately some people sing themselves down the aisle. I'm not necessarily a vocalist, so instead of um, using the song, I have a friend of mine that sings, and I would love for him to sing me down the aisle. Check him out on here, Mr. Marcus Marshall. Convince him to come back to YouTube. But, um, yeah, those are, I'm all over the place, and I do apologize about my rambling. It's about... 2 a.m. in Las Vegas and I can't sleep so I decided to grace y'all with these videos and get on your nerves for 20 minutes or so but I am going to put my folder away and um, like I said you guys take a gander even if you're not getting married but you know you're in a committed relationship you guys are kind of serious even if you're not kind of serious y'all living together get serious about it um, and start looking uh, as far as rings and things like that, Zales actually, believe it or not, has some very good sales. I was able to find my fiance's ring and I took all mine off. So, but I was able to find his set for mm, I want to say it came out to twelve set. Twelve seventy six for his set. I could have found them cheaper, yes, but the my engagement ring. Once I saw what was paid for it, I felt like I kind of owed it to him, you know. Um, so it 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 hurt a little bit, but <laughs> but I got it done for him. So um, that's about it. Um, if y'all got any questions, you know where to reach me. I think I'm done ran for tonight. Till next time, see y'all later. <laughs>